Want to avoid driving in the Westport area this morning because of a giant sinkhole. Yeah, it is located at uh, 43rd and Roanoke. It is the result, though, of a six inch water main break that got much bigger. Lindsay Shively is live in Westport with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Curtis and Krista. Hard to believe a pipe that's just six inches around caused all this, but it did. The water main down below here sprung a leak, and actually, one driver didn't realize it until they were trying to turn off 43rd on a Roanoke, and their tire started sinking. That's because the water that had just made the concrete really weak underneath the weight of that car started to give way. That driver's fine. The car is gone, as you can see, and it wasn't this large by any means. Crews have made this larger so they could get down to the pipe, work on it, and get. Get the water turned back on for these folks around here. We have not heard how many folks or if any are out of water. There's apartment complexes and hotels all around us here in the heart of Westport and really not anybody stirring yet. We haven't seen anybody come out of their apartments just yet. Uh, but the good news is they expect to have this fixed soon. They've been working on it since last night. They figured out that this water main was broken about 8.30 last night. Been working on it since then, but you can see what a mess they have to create to get this fixed. And that mess is what they're going to have to fix up when they're done. We're live once the Shively NBC Action News today.